most children with acute lymphoblastic leukemia enter into remission with one or if not two cycles of chemotherapy at the time that they're diagnosed. So when Phineas' story came to my attention, I said he's a perfect candidate for this trial. With Phineas' diagnosis, it was similar in many ways to when our daughter was first diagnosed with uh, leukemia. We were told there's really not a whole lot of therapeutic options available or it hasn't really changed much in the last 30 years. In the end, she lasted only 10 months and we lost her in December of 2006. Phineas wasn't responding to therapy and his disease was getting out of control. And if he's gonna have any shot at getting into remission and hopefully then a cure, we needed to try this T-cell based approach. Immunotherapy for cancer is a completely new way of thinking about how to treat this disease. It's augmenting or jazzing up the immune system and training the immune system to go after the cancers. And that's a fundamentally different way of killing cancer cells. The first step is to get some cells from the patient because this is personalized therapy. We're using Phineas's own immune system. So once we get the cells growing in the laboratory and we know that they look like they're gonna be capable of being potent killers, we gave Phineas an infusion of the cells. In some ways it feels like getting the flu because that's what happens when you get the flu, your immune system is activated. And then they sort of calm down and everything gets sort of settled back down to normal. And then on the 28th day, about that time, we look. For the first time since he was diagnosed with leukemia, he is now disease-free as best that we can tell. You know, in, in Phineas's case, there's some critical moments in, in the evolution of immunotherapy and in this particular treatment that would not have happened without St. Baldrick's. Anything that we can do to support St. Baldrick's, really. They were instrumental in, in saving our son's life and funding research that's saving children's lives and letting them grow up. Dr. Trey Lee used the St. Baldrick Scholar position to allow him to do the work that it took to make this trial really a reality. The hope for treating cancer is really right now in the fact that we're seeing such great responses to cellular-based immunotherapies. I would love to be able to see that applied to other childhood malignancies and, and adult malignancies alike. Um, so that one day you'll be able to, you know, walk into your doctor's office and then in a week or two have cells that can kill off your, your cancer when the chemotherapy and other agents can't. I like biking and I like fishing, so what, what is this going to be over? <laughs>